Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday, the 2nd of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Phil, Grant. Good to see you, Wayne, everyone. Good to see you, Bonnie, Gene, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed their beautiful weekend. It is crappy here in New York. It is actually going to be miserable for the next four days. Uh, hopefully, it's nicer in your neck of the woods, but uh, it's time to get back to work, everybody. Trading is here. We're at full force, and uh, obviously, the coronavirus is not getting better. <laughs> It uh, looks like it's getting, it's getting a lot worse than what it is. So anyway, I got a good announcement of some really good shorts I think that we have to focus on. Also, a couple of good news coming out on some other stocks. Uh, but we all know this is a typical Monday. Not really that much going on on a Monday. There are a couple of interesting stocks that made some decent moves. Um, you got this one stock up that's up 80% already. This stock right here, the VTBT. Uh, we'll check it out. We'll look at some of the moves and we'll check on the, on the book viewer on NASDAQ Total View and see what's happening there. But before we do that, let's just touch upon what happened on Friday. We had a couple of good stocks, you know, not the greatest, but we had some decent stocks on Friday I want to just touch upon. I want to start off with Pinterest. Um, nice little stock, kind of like that stock. Had a nice little uh, earnings announcement, gapped up pretty nicely, but apparently didn't like it as much as they thought it would be, and it just kind of trended down. That one stock uh, kind of was a nice little short right when earnings came out. ZGNX, another one that we traded, got destroyed, which, by the way, I'm still keeping this up on my watch list, and I'm going to add it to it, but uh, this stock was such a really comfortable short all the way down from $40 down to $32, and then also the Uber trade. Uber uh, did really, really well after hours on their earnings, and, uh, you know, a couple of Brokerage firms put some nice little targets out there. I think Morgan Stanley put a big fat out target on it. And, you know, we've been trading this stock all the way down since 26 and um, still ticked off. I didn't keep my my several thousand shares I had at like 28, 29. Uh, but, you know, what happens, you know, I bought it back. Listen, it's nice. Great traders never to buy the bomb sell top. They always buy in between. But if this stock breaks 45, the IPO price, this thing is off the races. So... You know, but right now it's kind of holding steady here around these prices. Now, regarding about uh, what happened and what's going on tomorrow this morning, uh, yeah, I saw that storm, John. That was pretty terrible. That little storm you had right there, oof, up in the UK over there, hit Scotland today. It was almost like a major hurricane. 150 mile an hour winds you guys had. I know I was reading something about it. Hope you guys were nice and safe. Well, anyway, uh, regard. Well, the good thing about hurricanes is bad things. Bad things they come. The good things they leave. Bad thing here is that we got this coronavirus. It's actually getting worse. Now I just heard in reports that uh, it was being, you know, now they're saying that China is basically working on chemical warfare the way because they were basically testing this in labs. So uh, I guess they have a lot to talk about that over the weekend. But it is getting worse. A lot more people are getting sick. Uh, 97 more deaths I'm looking over here or 3,000 more cases. Doesn't look like it's getting better than worse. But what's the big news about uh, coronavirus? How are we going to uh, profit from it? Well, unfortunately, I hate that word, but you know what? There are some companies, you know, I always say catastrophes do make opportunities. And I do want to talk about what you've been hearing over and over and over over the weekend. How is, you know, forget about what's going on in China. How is it affecting everyone else around the world? Cruise ships. Cruise ships are getting destroyed, okay? So you're not hearing too much about them, and I want to bring them up really quick. I want to bring up, um, we'll start off with uh, Carnival Air, Carnival Airlines. You guys, have you been watching these, 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 uh, these cruise ships? They're getting destroyed. I mean, they were doing great recently, but look at it. Carnival dropped down from 51 down to 42. Nobody's talking about it. You know, nobody's talking about, the, uh, about them. And you know what? They're really getting crushed, and you know what? Is it too late to short them? I don't know. I mean, listen, you hear one of these cruise ships that come out and, and all of a sudden something happens in one of the cruise ships. Nobody's going on these cruise ships. OK, I know they're really taking some really big precautions, but you know what? Until they fix to figure out this problem, these stocks are going to take a big hit. CUK is another one. OK, another carnival uh, one that's out there. Look at 40 now now to 40. R RCL, Royal Caribbean. Another one getting decimated, 135 down to 111, okay? Look at it, it's down 1%. They're just dwindling down little by little. Norwegian, NCLH, another one. Not terrible as much as the other one, but maybe they didn't get hit yet. But they're all getting hit. And if you're from another country, I know you got other shipping, uh, cruise, uh, cruise companies 
around the uh, that traded other parts of the country. Keep an eye on them, guys. You know, when you hear one of these stocks getting uh, one of these ships getting docked, you know, and if it's a public company, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, indeed, uh, no one wants to get sick. I know, Grant. I mean, listen, it's when you don't have a cure for it, you know, it's it's terrible. So anyway, so that's the bad news. The good news is this. OK, let's talk about Tesla. All right. Now, we've been trading Tesla for a while and rumors going out that it's showing up right now. It's just watching it on uh, Fox Business. They said that uh, uh, Google might consider buying for fifteen hundred dollars. Is that unbelievable? Congratulations to all the Tesla employees. You ever keep talking about the owner? Forget about the owner. Talk about the Tesla employees, all those millennials, everybody. I mean, good for them. If that's the case, uh, first of all, there was a huge short squeeze in it. Now, the squeeze is going to be getting a little, little interesting now. But, but if that's the case, I would keep a very close eye on this Tesla trade. Now, I know a lot of us don't can't afford to trade Tesla, which is perfectly normal. But you know what? You know, I hate options. Well, maybe this is your opportunity to maybe do a leap on the stock. You know what I mean? Look what's out there. Hopefully, you can get a good deal on it. By the way, we are going to be having Tom Sosnoff, the godfather, I think, the greatest options trader in the industry. He's going to be coming on tomorrow, so you better not miss tomorrow with Tom Sosnoff coming on, all right? So uh, we got that going on. We got that's the good news. Let's talk about some other really big winners. We're going to start off with this VTVT trade. So this stock, um, I logged in this morning. I saw a really nice move. I had a nice little pop. I was in around 730. It was at 340, ran to $4, backing off a little bit. I was looking over here on the total view, and you know I'm seeing some big sellers right here around four bucks. It looks like it's kind of testing that resistance. A couple of iceberg orders out there, not ridiculously a lot. I mean, already 600, 700,000 traded on the, uh, on total view, three three million traded overall in the market. So it looks like, uh, let's see if it holds here at the support levels. I got, a, I see is like a, some decent buyers here at 9,000. Right around 370. AMVM. I'm sorry, I spelled that wrong. ADVM. Another one came up on the watch list. It's not, you know, it's up 17%, 200,000 shares. It's kind of teeter tottering right here. Not the greatest pre market out there. But listen, this is a Monday, so not a whole lot out there. I, I, I'm throwing bingo out there just for one reason. It's up about 10%, a million shares traded. But a lot of you remember Bingo, we traded in October. It went from a dollar to a 450. Go back to your journals, check them out. You know class starts today. We start a new cycle of the classes. You know, we're going to talk about this. Make sure you're in classes, but, you know, uh, especially talking about our journals. Remember the stock was a nice mover. A lot of you guys did well. Put this on the watch list, but as of right now, we're not jumping into anything. Uh, this stock taking a very, very big hit. MYO, remember up to 10, up to 40. Look where she's back down to 13. Another great short squeeze. A lot of us guys made a lot of money on that stock, but once again, always take the money. We always talk about that all the time. Uh, what else we got here? BHVN. So this one took a little bit of a correction this morning, but she's making a little bit of a comeback. So a little bit of a bounce, only bad thing. Tier size is very small, spreads very big. All right. Now, uh, one last stock I want to talk about a very good, good swing trade because uh, one of you actually brought up was asking me about it. And who was it? So I brought it up. Uh, Frank uh, Frank M was asking me about it. I want to talk about CSQ. All right. So who here has CSQ? We've been trading CSQ for a few years now. And uh, it was told to me to some uh, really, really good analysts tell me a little bit about it. A lot of you do got as a swing. Okay. So CSQ has been on a huge tear, huge tear. And a lot of us got into this stock. And I want to bring up the yearly chart because I think it's important. So uh, I bought a lot more when it, when it back here in, in 2019 when we had that nice Christmas crash. But anyway, stock's up very, very big. And I don't know if you guys, do you guys read the news on it? Anybody ever read the news on CSQ? So for some of you who don't know the stock, uh, this is a actual public mutual fund stock, okay? This is why I love this stock so much. This stock pays you 8.5% interest a year. The difference is it pays you every month. You don't got to hold it like, 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 a, like a, uh, a CD in a bank for a year and then get paid 2%. This company pays you every single month on the 4th. Now, the reason why it's up, they raised their dividend 
from eight and a half to nine and a half, up 12%. They raise their dividend. They're making so much money in the stock market, they just raise their dividend, which is unheard of. So that's one of the reasons why the stock's going up. So I'm just bringing it up because some of you know that we've been a big fan of it. You know, not only do we day trade, but we also do swing trade. And uh, the stock obviously has been treating us very, very well, very cheap little stock. And it looks like it's going to be testing a major, major resistance levels going all the way back. Uh, actually, it did broke it. I think it broke it. Actually, I think it's a little bit further than that, but I think it close to 15. So um, stock's doing really well. Right. Yes, Wayne. It's compound monthly. Right. So let's say you make that less than 1%. At least you made that, you made that interest on that money. So a uh, very safe, slow moving stock. All right. But anyway, if you guys got it, I just don't know if you heard the, heard the news about it. You know, they just raised their dividend, which was awesome. That is amazing. By the way, it's not the only one they have. They have a few of them. That's not the only one. They have, uh, I think there's like four or five of them, a little bit more expensive. Some pay even more dividends than this, but they obviously cost more money. Anyway, all right, so listen, it's Monday, all right? So we know Monday, a lot of big things going on. Classes start the new cycle of the month starting today. So we're going to be starting those classes at 1030. So we have to give you guys some time to train in the morning. So make sure you are in those classes. So uh, Josh, just put the link up there for all of you guys uh, that are students. Make sure you click on it. Secondly, keep an eye on some of these stocks. Uh, keep an eye on that Tesla trade. I'm really curious about that buyout. Also, a lot of these crew stocks uh, regarding about the short, you know, listen, like I said, uh, they're coming up left and right. I know some of us even getting a little scared going on these cruise ships because of it, including myself, because I'm going to be going on one next week, unfortunately, a Disney cruise. So hopefully, I think we should be all right. Disney is going to take it very seriously. It's here in the U.S. It looks like a lot of them are overseas. All right, guys. So good luck today. Happy trading. We'll see you in class. And we'll start commentating in about uh, in about 15 minutes when the market opens up. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.